Hi there, this is Zephyr, and I just wanted to show you about costume shards today. I'm not going to explain absolutely everything because my knowledge is fairly limited on the subject, but I just wanted to go over how you can boost your damage quite considerably using the shard page. Uh, the good thing about inserting shards into your costume is that you can freely insert and reinsert them when you want. So compared to adding shards into your gear where you could potentially lose shards when you pull them out uh, or lose armor um, without spending SC, uh, this is another way you can do it to boost your damage very quickly and I'd prioritize doing this first before you start sharding your actual gear. Uh, so you have the costume page and you have all your costumes right here. Um, this is where you put them all. And if you may have noticed, there is actually a tab for various other costumes. Uh, now, some costumes come from the marketplace, you get 10% bonus. Some come from events like the parade, uh, the Christmas events, uh, the uh, an anniversary event uh, is another place you can get uh, costumes and weapon costumes and all that. So, basically, you're going to have your first page is going to be what your desired costume is, and you can check and uncheck what you want to see and what you want you don't want to see on this page. Uh, other tabs will have uh, various other slots, it goes up quite high, there's quite a lot of pages that are here. And then obviously this other tab here in the middle is self-explanatory, is dies. Uh, you can unlock them with SC using a free pick or using a free pick from Column of the Prophet. Uh, you can get a free pick from Column of the Prophet at random. Another way you can get free pick is if you get the same colour multiple times in a uh, color picking, uh, the color picking thing with that you spend SC on. So, as you notice, may notice these costumes come with a bonus. So you get a 10% bonus on, say, the Seraph helmet that I have there. Um, so basically, as you may notice, the actual shard capacity is based on your current gear. So it'll go up. Uh, it will go up and down based on what gear you have equipped. Uh, I think it's based on maybe color grade of your equipment or something. I'm not sure if it takes a percentage of the gear that you're wearing. And as you equip costumes, you're going to have these shard slots unlocked for you. And you can put shards in them. So basically, when you... You may notice that you can't put very big shards in to begin with. And that's because... Every time you add a costume to a different tab, it does actually increase your capacity. So, like right here, I've got very large energy shards, so one's even a 105 damage there. And actually, if you try to go too far over the maximum limit, you'll actually get an opposite bonus. So if I switch this 105 shard here with the 81-ish shard that I've got just there, you'll notice that my natural damage actually goes down because I'm getting a not percent benefit from that shard so I'm going to move those back and you'll see those there. Basically um, that's how to boost your gear. Uh, I'm running half natural and half magic because just, that's just how I do it and that's really it on costume shards. Uh, you will, as you fill the pages up you'll unlock more slots because Yami actually has uh, only the uh, cape slot unlocked because he has a cape equipped um, so yeah uh, next video will probably be about masteries I want to go over a very interesting mastery that um, that I've come up with um, it's an Istalon build but it also mixes in some talisman which is pretty interesting and also there is a non dragon soul build and a dragon soul dependent build so I'd love to show you those next time when I get the chance and maybe you'll learn something or maybe you won't but I'll just throw you something interesting and I'd love to share it so you guys have a good day hopefully this video has helped you um you take care have a good day